Right, hello everybody. This is a follow-up video that I said I was going to make after I put up a nice little picture of the setup uh, on Facebook. So I thought I would quickly run through all these stuff because everyone's been asking what bits we've got, blah, 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 blah. So I wanted to run through it all and just pretty much show you in a quick video. And then at the end, I'll probably do a few laps or a lap round a track and give you a bit of a POV-ish kind of view. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next clip. This is the main setup here. A little bit bright there, just trying to adjust the old focus a bit. Need to get some curtains or blinds. <laughs> uh, everything's been really decorated here, so yeah, that's why it's, uh, you know, we're getting there slowly. But yeah, so basically this is the main setup, which is a GT Omega Prime cockpit, uh, followed by the Sparco Grid Q seat, a bucket seat. Um, we have in the PC a 5800X, 32 gigs of RAM, and a 3070, which is sort of mid-range-ish now, a um, few years old, but it still gets the job done. Um, and it still runs all the games fine. Never had no issues with it, especially on this big screen as well, because when I got this, I thought, oh God, we're gonna need to upgrade the PC as well. But no, we're getting, a, getting away a bit at the moment. But yeah, and then we've got the Husenveld sprint pedals, which are fan-dabby-tastic. They are amazing pedals. Uh, I rate them very, very highly. Uh, customer service is great as well. The engineering in these is crazy, it's brilliant. Um, then we've got the Simicu Pro 2 wheelbase with 25 Nm of torque, which we never use because we would just probably die. Got a dashboard, which I got from Etsy. Um, I'll try and link it because, let's see if it focuses. Yeah, I'll try and link it because um, I can't remember, but it was a guy in America that makes them anyway, pretty much. And then we have the GSI X29 rim with the Dan Newman racing profiles at the moment, which are amazing. That, that, that rim is superb, it's brilliant. It's, oh, it's just it's beautiful, I mean, look at it, it's fantastic. So, and you get such a nice view when you're in the, in the rig as well, you know, you do, it's really good. <laughs> uh, little stream deck there as well to get me through the games and menus and stuff. Emergency stop button for the base because it's too powerful and can kill you. <laughs> We've got the 49 inch Samsung Odyssey monitor. Uh, brilliant, love it. Never have no issues with it since I got it. Had it probably about a year now, I think, which has been great. And then we've got a 1080p 60 hertz cheap Samsung TV on the top there just for telemetry and streaming and stuff. That's all mounted up on the GT Amiga monitor stand, which I got separate from their site. Um, then over here, we've got just an Asus 27 inch curved 165 hertz monitor. So I do all the Work, either work stuff or um, FPS games, uh, editing, whatever, and just playing games, really. Um, oh, yeah, we've got the W14 Lego Technic car up there, which took me forever to build. Um, yeah, Mike, got a Lewis Hamilton, a Max Verstappen there, some Razer peripherals, keyboard mouse, massive mouse mat, which needs a clean. Logitech speakers, got the ones at the front, on the back of the rig. Got a spare little rim down there as well with my shoes when I need to use them for longer races. But yeah, that's pretty much about it, to be honest. I'll um, add in a little video after this just of me and the rig and give you an idea of what it's like when I'm racing it. And yeah, and then I'll be looking forward to seeing uh, people's feedback and hopefully we can start getting some more future videos made and go from there. Cheers, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. What is it they all say? Yeah, like and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see as well in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much the setup at the minute. Thanks for watching. Uh, I find the stream deck. Yeah, so let's load up ACC. We'll do a couple of laps around there from this angle with the phone set up so you can see everything, the whole 49 inch screen. Um, and like I said, this is just going to be a little video of an update as well, especially for the channel, because I've done a video for a little while now. Um, so I thought I would, since I've now moved everything from the living room into the, the bedroom, I'd do a nice updated video for everybody. Um, yeah, so this is going to be just a couple of, you know, maybe we'll do one or two laps around at the Nordschleife, which is like one of my favourite tracks, without a doubt. Absolutely love it. Um, and I'll just show you everything, yeah, show you, show you what we're doing. So, in the, like I say in the clip before, you'll see that I've ran through everything. 
Um, and yeah, just wait for it to load up. Let's see if we can get into a little um, thing. We'll probably do it like a little single player, a little single player run, I reckon. Just have a quick little go. Uh, and what I might do as well is I might actually do some more. Well, I'm, I'm planning on doing more videos now anyway, but I might use this angle for um, some of the future videos because trying to stream on a 14 inch screen can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes. What car should we take out? The Mustang, the Mustang is good. The Mustang sounds good too. McLaren, the new McLaren is a great car as well. However, I do like the Lambo. You know what? Let's let's take the Mustang out. Let's because I haven't drove that much, to be honest. Um, make sure it's not like ISS in the morning session, which is good. So yeah, we'll do one or two laps around here. I'll just show you from that angle everything. Actually, sorry, going back to the streaming. Yeah, so when I'm falling on into trying to stream, you have to do so much, I think, to get it to look the right aspect ratio on somebody who's got like a normal 16 by 9 aspect ratio monitor because I think this one is like 32 by 9 because it's like super ultra wide so when you then obviously a viewer would watch this on normal video you'd get like black bars I think I had a previous video saying how to remove the bars but sometimes trying to film it like this you'd see everything you know the dash the rim what I'm doing um, back of my head which is great not really great we'll load a aggressive preset on and like I say we'll go in a, I haven't driven this car in a while so we're running the Dan Newman racing um, uh, wheel profiles like the wheel easy profiles which are great uh, you can go through so many different you know colour patterns and designs and themes if you like so when you obviously hit pick them up, you'll activate all the buttons and you can see that now it's in my face and the pit limiter's on, which is good. Because sometimes we forget the pit limiter. Car sounds good, which is nice. So let's pop out of the pits. And we'll do a few little, yeah, you know, we'll do a couple of laps in this car for sure. The car does sound great. Sunrise as well. This is like nine o'clock in the morning. This one. The Ferrari in front. I don't know why I said little Ferrari. A Ferrari in front. And when you flash as well, you obviously get the flashing on the rim, which is nice. Like I said, there's so many different. Things that you can do as well. I'll just turn it up a bit so you get a car a bit better. Yeah, so many different things that you can do as well. I haven't drove ACC in a while. I'll tell you what, that was look very good though. Ace, uh, what's it, a set of course of Evo's going to be coming out this year apparently as well, which will be good. Drop a comment if you're uh, excited about playing that game. It's got a lot to live up to with obviously AC. How well that's done. I think I looked the other day in that game, still got 7, I think it's 17,000 players on it or something. It was amazing, it's like a 10 year old game. Get the tires warmed up and we're going to cool out of that. The game does look incredible. You can't take that away from it, it looks great. Right now, let's do a whole lap of the wall Give you guys a nice perspective. I won't talk too much. So you can enjoy 
the sound of the uh, Mustang. Oh, I said a bit low here. This is not right.
No, no, it's Akura. Akura. NSX. Clear passing place up here, unfortunately. Behind him and be patient, enjoy his rear ends. BMW coming up. Might get him out of the corner here. Rear ends not happy. Oh, we've just about got it. I'm just saying the. Uh, my wife's gone blank. Carousel. I don't want to make a big thing there. I know we've got a clear track in here. Coming to my favourite part of the circuit. Thanks very much.